How's it going, guys? Um, we have Kayla's car, her cruise. Um, we're gonna attempt to spray her bow ties with this red plasti dip, and then also the cruise here, and then we're also gonna use the hair dryer and get this van autoplex off of there. I don't know about the badge yet. I don't know if I leave the chrome on it or the whole thing red. It would look better if the center was red and the outside is probably black. That's my thought. But I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna get a extension cord and I don't know what I'm doing. Let's see if we can get this van autoplex logo off here. I wish they wouldn't put them on vehicles, but that's their version of advertising. The Taurus I had before, I took it in there for something. As soon as I got the vehicle, I took off their little sticker like this, and I took it back in like a week later to have them do something, and I had it back on it. And I took it off, and then I took it in for something else, and got it back and it had another one on there. I'm like, can you guys stop putting these things on my vehicle? I take them off for a reason. I think they should have to ask you if they keep putting them on, but it is what it is. But I'm gonna go ahead and heat this up and just use my fingernails if I can get this off. And then we're gonna clean up the cruise and I'm gonna try just this with the Plasti Dip. Um, Let's see if I can put some painter's tape around it and then maybe if I can I don't know how I'm gonna get in between the letters like you spray it on but I don't know how I'm gonna get plastic dip off without cutting it and try peeling it out but we'll figure it out when we get there so I got most of that off you can kind of see it in a certain light but in person you can't see it at all so, that'll work for now. It needs some wax on it. I put a little bit on and it helped take it away. So if you ever want to take these off your cruise, it's extremely easy. They come off really easy. Look at that. So, I'll get this cleaned up and get it so you can't see the cruise. All right, I got that off. Um, you can even feel it's your hand since they waxed around it where the letters were. I think I'm gonna tape this off, just the gold part, and spray this, and we'll see what it looks like. Well guys, honestly, it doesn't look that bad with the silver. Looks pretty good, actually. Definitely makes it stand out more. <laughs> so. I'll ask her and see if she wants the same up front or what. Alright, well I had her come out and look at it and she really likes the look of the silver and the red so we're keeping it like that. And she also thinks it looks decent without the cruise emblem so we aren't really cruise badging. So I'm just going to take those and put them somewhere safe. You can put them on a later date. And then I sprayed the front. So, I'm a little worried that it's going to look like Rudolph. <laughs> but you never know. I think I'm going to get black and do maybe this in black. I don't know. We'll see. I think I have some black somewhere. So, I'll just kind of play around with it and see. I'll show you guys when that's done drying what it looks like. Alright, while right, we're waiting on the plastic dip to dry, I'm gonna I wheeled this up here. I'm gonna try starting it. I haven't started in like two weeks or so. Hopefully it starts. Almost out of gas. Oh, 
not too promising. He'll he'll go. Give it some fuel here. I really need to get a fuel shut off on this. Think it happened. Oh, my knee hit it. If I should get on the road. Oh. Drive through grass without eating it. It's idling. Yeah. I think it's idling a little low. It's not like it's gonna shut off. It shut off. Dang it. Maybe it needs to warm up a little more. One time down the street wasn't enough. Carburetor's gonna be picky. Alright, this is how I die right here. There's a blind corner with a uh, semi stalling scooter. See if that'll just sit there and idle. Anything with a carb, you really need to have it running every once in a while to help circulate fuel so it doesn't get all gunked up. I'm still really impressed with this thing. I think we had $115 into this. And then gas. Battery was good, everything. But yeah. Let's see if that emblem's dried. And it shut off. Nope, not dry yet. I gotta start the little scooter. Oh, no, don't go off the kickstand, please. That was my bad. Give too much gas. I did fix this. I got it adjusted. Of course, I had the key in there. But now you can open and close it how it's supposed to work. Just a little hinge on the top of the trunk can scoot in and out. And it was like all the way in, I think. So it wasn't catching that bar all the way. So I pulled it all the way out, I think. Tightened it down and it latches every time. So yeah. All right, front didn't come out too bad. I still want to touch it up more. You see kind of a, a run line in the middle of it, but it's good enough for now. So, overall it turned out decent. I do, I think, like the look without the cruise badge and definitely the van autoplex. So, I think that's it for today. Might end up doing something with the Elantra and another video, I'm not sure yet. Let me know in the comments down below what videos you'd like to see. And then let me know if you've seen the video of me 
driving the Elantra after it hit zero miles till empty. Let me know if you want me to do the same thing with the cruise. So let me know in the comments down below if you want me to run this out of gas and see how far we can go. But thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.